Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about Sonic the Hedgehog 2. There have been some photos released. We're getting Knuckles, and oh my God, he actually looks like Knuckles. Yay, he does. And Tails is there too. Tails is there too. We got, look at this. This, this popped up last night. Um, we didn't get a chance to do a video until today, but um, you know, either either these are uh, the movie designs or somebody's got a fetish and they're just playing with the dolls. I don't know. Well, I think they're stand-ins for the actors, yeah. but it's really, really cool. Knuckles looks great. He does. Uh, they're gonna get right on the first try, hopefully. Hopefully. So we're gonna talk about Sonic 2, why they're making a Sonic 2, and that in our opinion, mm -hmm. uh, there wouldn't be a Sonic 2 unless they listen to the fans in Sonic 1. Exactly. And uh, studios need to learn this lesson. Uh, some of them aren't. Yes. <laughs> But before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 185,000 subs. Uh, almost 186,000. Almost. We're so crawling. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your dog. Tell everybody. Tell everybody. Scream it from the rooftop. Well, don't, don't do that. Don't do might that. Get, you might get arrested. Uh, so yeah, this this picture uh, popped up yesterday, and this is this is good news for fans of Sonic because Knuckles is going to be in the franchise. We kind of figured he was going to be. They showed a kid in his in the first movie, mm -hmm. and uh, you know made sense to put Knuckles in, but he looks like himself. He does. Um, Tails was like Tails was like Tails. Yeah, Tails had a cameo. Spoiler. There was a cameo of Tails. Well, at the if you don't very, know that by end. now, then too bad. Slap yourself. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, it's just like you know, I'm just excited because imagine what happens when you actually make characters that are true to the characters. Isn't it a novel concept in this day and age that you don't have to change everything? Yeah. Um, and they tried that, and this is this is a. Uh, you know, kind of a, a lesson in, in what to do and what not to do. Um, the BBC, when they changed the design of Sonic the Hedgehog, of course, you know, the original Sonic was uh, Nightmare Fuel. Yes, yeah, so uh, he Sonic really was. was Nightmare Fuel. What you the know? hell? Look at that. What the hell? Yeah. Everybody's like, what is that? Yeah. What is with all the ads? BBC and Radio Time. Well, they have to make money somewhere. Part. Yeah, because no one else gives a shit. Um, but they were actually trying to, you know, throw shade at Sonic fans. Said that Sonic fans were too entitled. You know, how dare they? How dare they ask for Sonic the Hedgehog that looks like Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, what was funny to me was when they had the Sonic the Hedgehog out that looked like shit. Yeah. Everybody had a fit. Included me and it was non-political. Like, you know, normally if you don't like the new Star Wars movies, even if you don't like, even if you have good reasons, you're automatically all right. Yeah. Um, but when the Sonic thing came out and people didn't like it, it was across the board. Everybody hated it. Oh, it yeah. It was like massive amount of hate um, for it. It didn't matter how you voted. You hated it because it's like, what the hell is that? Um, and I remember Jim Carrey even had a fit about them changing it at first, but then he later came back and said it was the right choice. Yeah, because Sonic did really well at the box office. A lot of people turned up to support Sonic at the box office uh, just just to say thank you for listening to the fans. And they're going to probably come back because it was actually a good movie. Yeah, it was. It was. I did not expect it to be good. Uh, I mean, it wasn't the best movie ever, but no. for a video game movie, which video game movies are frankly terrible but nine lately, times out of ten. lately like with detective pikachu and stuff they've been doing better about it yeah detective pikachu is really good too so you know, i think they're gonna have to figure out how to make a decent video game movie now the one i don't have any hope for at this point is uh the mario movie because as the teen titans go people are in charge of i didn't even know they were doing another mario movie yeah well you no, sent no. Me that the other day. it's an animated version okay good yeah. because live action was was a disaster the first time yeah i think Remember it was that? yeah oh god yeah i've been trying to forget it for like 30 years <laughs> it was it was pretty horrible it was like a really bad episode of it doctor who or something the, it didn't do well because they can't they didn't look like themselves <sighs> yeah i mean it was weird and it didn't do well because people want to see what they love they don't want you to change it just for whatever reason you want to give. That's why these these reboots don't do well with a lot of times classic fans, unless they, they feel like the show. Um, they feel like the show still usually you can get past even if you change some stuff, but they keep changing too much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, Sonic was a lesson in, in how to do it right, uh, how to please the fans, and they rewarded Paramount with lots of money. And now they're getting a second movie. Now they're getting a second movie. And looks like the cast is the same, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, they do have the same cast. Everybody's coming back. Yay! Uh, Marsden, Sumter. Good, I like them. Yeah, they were actually pretty good. Uh, it was actually a pretty good 
casting choice. Uh, so there are some other set photos too. They're they're talking about uh, the gun vehicles, which were uh, featured in the anime and in Sonic Adventure. Mm -hmm. And people were wondering if Shadow the Hedgehog might turn up too. I hope they don't go Shadow in the second movie. Shadow was Sonic with a gun. He yeah, was, he was very grim, dark. That would be Zack Snyder's Sonic the Hedgehog would. Would have well, I might. Who knows? I mean, but we know we're getting more Jim Carrey as Robotnik yeah. because they have a picture or video of him flying or something. They're doing a scene where he's like in a harness flying and stuff. Well, you think it's him, but he's coming back. But yeah, I do remember. I remember there was a lot of fans hated it when they showed the, the, the original and yeah. it got pushed back because of it. And I remember the media just having a shit fit. Like, the fans are, what the hell, fans? Who You're so entitled. What the hell? Well, yeah, we saw it continue with uh, the Snyder Cut, the backlash against the Snyder Cut. I mean, preemptively, we saw it, and it sort of, um, I think, as a holdover from the Rise of Skywalker, kind of walking back The Last Jedi, even though it failed miserably. Too late, it was too late it was on that too one. late at that point. You know, but. if you hadn't ruined Luke, you might have been able to save it, but you ruined Luke already, so it was people were already out. Yeah, so, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Paramount, I wish to God Paramount would have listened to the fans when it came to the Transformers movies. Mm -hmm. uh, well, they tried to listen to the fans at the end, but by then a lot of people just left because they got tired of it. Yeah, um, now Bumblebee was, if Bumblebee had been the first Transformers movie, I would have been Right, that's what I'm saying. Thrilled, yeah. Um, I just remember, if, if you, you, a lot of people who've been with us know this story already, but if you haven't been, uh, it was funny because when they had the first Transformers movie coming out, there was a big debate about Megatron's face looking like a vagina because it looked like a flipping vagina. Yeah. And I remember um, we actually, we've been around quite a while and Neon had written a blog article on your own blog. It was like a little fan blog, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was like a blog, blog, And it blog. ended up going all over the place <sighs> and it brought out the producer, was it Don Murphy? It was Don Murphy. And yeah. he was like, Taking a dump all over you. You're the goat blowing idiot blogger. Goat blowing idiot blogger. Yeah. I was imaginary. I wasn't real. Yes. He really didn't have a wife. I was pretend. <laughs> and all this stuff. And it was like he was just like taking the biggest crap on on you. And then eventually he's like, well, this wasn't the. This isn't because you know he's the only one saying it, it was because his was the most was the best written. He actually said that it was the best written. The best. Remember shit take. Yeah. Yeah. No, right? Yeah. And then he had a fit because like people were like sharing it because it was well written and well thought out. So. We got a oh shit! No, we can we can brush off the other loonies, but this one's well done. So they're gonna we're, they're gonna listen to him. Hurry, call him a goat blowing idiot blogger. Yeah, it's so weird because actually some of the people from the the Don Murphy forums follow us now. Oh, um, do they really? Yeah. Now he to hello be, to all you then. Yeah, I don't know if Don Murphy listens to this. Well, Don Murphy did apologize. He did. He That's actually. Fact. Uh, he did. It was so my understand. He basically was like, look, I wasn't happy about what they did to Transformers either. That's not the movie we pitched, the Michael Bay version. Mm -hmm. uh, he's like, he's like, we had the signal boost, blah blah blah. Anyway, I'm sorry. You seem like you're okay. Sorry about. Too late that. after I, you know, tried to. After rip I tried to, yeah, rip you a new one. But it, it was so weird because, yeah, now they're trying to fix it with Transformers. Bumblebee was great. Right. I, I but most Bumblebee, people have, but... I think, already like you know left because oh, yeah. they got yeah, tired of it. Yeah, didn't do well at the box office. So I think that's what's going on. If you listen to the fans that had done it that way to begin with. Now, some people are fans of the Michael Bay versions, and that's cool, too. You're I'm sorry. To, you know, you're, you're allowed to like it. I mean, I'm not going to judge you. I mean, some of them, I don't think they're that terrible, but it depends. Um, you hated them more than I did. They got progressively worse. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. Yeah. But, um, you know, here's the thing. If you listen to the fans, the fans are going to, if you have the fans back, the fans will have your back. And that's what we're learning. And that's what Hollywood needs to learn. And that's what, I, I love the fact that they weren't so arrogant. Like usually with Hollywood, they're so up their own asses and they're so arrogant that you can't tell me what to do. You're going to get what I give you and like it because I'm the tastemaker now, not you. And that has blown up in so many of their faces. It's ridiculous. He actually said, oh shit, you're right. Okay. We're going to, we're going to fix it for you. Now, the thing is, is I always wonder, you know, when these movies are, are being brainstormed, Sega actually told them. They did, yes. Sega told them. They're like, the Sonic fandom. Not going to like this. Uh, I'm going to use air quotes. They're very passionate. <laughs> passionate. They're not going to like this at all. Oh, no, we're Hollywood. We know better. We can this, do whatever we want because we we're Hollywood. We got to make this uh, We got to make this blue hedgehog look, look photorealistic, you know, because... The blue hedgehog totally would look right, obviously. photorealistic. And uh, yeah, but they got rewarded for listening. If more studios would listen, that'd be great. I don't think they're going to. I think no. a lot of times it's uh, it's not about the money. It's about sending a message. But you know what? It would cost them less. 
in the long run to just try to make films that are good films with good characters that fans want. Stop making sense. You know what? I know, right? It would In the long run, they'd probably make more money, lose less money, and everybody would be happy. Um, but they don't want to do that. So yeah. For whatever reason. But Sonic did it. And now we've got pictures of the next movie and we got Knuckles and Tails. And I'm really excited because um we were hoping you were you said I probably get Knuckles next time. Oh, I knew we were gonna and, get Knuckles. And we had to get Knuckles. Now it's gonna be uh I think what Jason Momoa is the voice. I right? think Jason Momoa, yeah, which oh You my, wanted the rock, I remember. I did want the rock. I thought the rock would make a good Knuckles. But um Momoa, again, I've always said, because they kept saying, Knuckles is coded as a black guy. No, Knuckles is an islander. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess... Actually, you know, Knuckles is just a red echidna. It's just a red echidna. So stop, you know, inserting your, your, your you know, races and genders and your own self into Knuckles, which sounds really bad after I said it. <laughs> well, people were mad because they're like, wait, 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 wait. So you're going to make Knuckles, quote unquote, black um, when he's the big, strong, dumb one. The ang the hair, right, the I know, hair right? trigger temper, yeah. <laughs> you know, know. like that's like, not a good look. I, mean, I love how they do this, and, this, and they're actually being so much more insulting. But they're but we're doing it. But we're we're on the side of of, of righteousness and good. And I'm like, you just insulted a bunch of people, dumbass. But you know, um, I'm just excited because this looks really good, and um, I'm so happy that they're that they're listening, and hopefully it'll be as good as the first one because usually sequels are not. Yeah, sometimes sometimes we get sequels that are better than the original. Sometimes, but usually. Um, they are not like Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, there there are a handful. <laughs> it's like the Last Jedi. I know. <laughs> God, there are a handful of examples of sequels being better than the original. Um, video game movies are dodgy to begin with, and I'm I'm guessing that it probably won't be. Yeah, they get a second one, a second video game movie. No, yeah, oh, Resident Evil. They don't know when to stop making. No, them. I know, but I mean, for the most part, it doesn't yeah. actually happen. Yeah, and you know, have a good one. So let's hold our breath, and you know. I'll you know, send thoughts and prayers and it's good. <laughs> there wouldn't have been, there wouldn't have been a second Sonic movie if they hadn't listened to the fans. The first one would have died on a vine yep. and then Birds of Prey did shit and they tried to blame it on Sonic, which yep. had nothing to do with it. It had nothing to do with it. Nothing. And ironically, you mentioned the last film we saw in theaters before the pandemic was Sonic. Yeah, yeah. And the first movie we're going to see in theaters after the pandemic is, is tomorrow and that's Demon Slayer. Yeah, we're gonna go see Demon Slayer. So that's Great actually taste. that's actually a nice bookend. Sonic the Hedgehog and, and Demon Slayer. Yeah. You know. So, so yeah. Hopefully this one's good. We'll see what happens. But uh, you know, if they they play their cards right, maybe Transformers factored into that. Maybe they're like, you know what, we we've done this before. We went through this with Transformers, and we had diminishing returns as the movies for uh, strayed further and further from God. I mean, the expectations <laughs> of the fandom. And uh, the last one I couldn't even finish. I well, when it when it comes to on. these franchises and the movies, the fans are the what keep it alive. Yeah. So the fans kind of are God because they're the ones that give you the money so that you can continue doing what you do. Um, and you're allowed to make changes that are within reason. People, I think, are understanding of that. The problem is when you take things and you make them completely unrecognizable or completely different than what they, they were for decades, um, <coughs> Shira, um, then, you know, that you run into trouble. If you just, even though know, you can make changes, you can make some some things different. But if you take it too far, the fans aren't gonna aren't gonna back you for it. Yeah, so uh, we will go see Sonic 2, for we sure. We will. All right, guys, so we're gonna wrap this one up. Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.